Because when you really came from nothing, it's a beautiful, like it's just, it feels good to be able to wake up and just have so many resources, just be able to like utilize a lot of things that you can utilize and just be able to move freely. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? Because it's when you, when you really came from nothing, it's like waking up trying to find a, find a play, find something to do, find a way out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So now when the ball is in your court, it's like, Boom, I can do everything freely. So it's just I wake up feeling good every day. I wake right. up trying to help people. Like that's what I do. Like I help people. I try to, you know, build different ways for different people. That's why I got my people with me. You know, no, everybody right. be from the bottom. And I like to see where people go now. You know what I'm saying? The levels that people can go on now. You know. Cause it be feeling good, you know what I'm saying? No, I want everybody else to feel that same feeling. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, J. Hill, Mr. J. Hill Podcast. We in the building. Special guest, man. I've been talking, been trying to get this guy on for like a minute. Uh, one thing I will say about this guy, man, from the trenches, been working hard. He really got it self-made. You know what I'm saying? All the hoes with him. It just is what it is. You feel me? Nah, but me. one thing that I do with um, one thing I messed with, I forgot we early in the interview, I got to chill with the Kirsten. One thing I messed with um, about this guy was when I reached out, he reached back out instantly. I mean, 2 million followers. Like, he really was on something. He was like, um, I guess he was busy. He sent me his assistant. Super, like, you feel me? Like, he was like, yo, holla at her. Boom. She was mad, uh, mad helpful. So I definitely rock with him for that, man. I got yeah. Jonathan Wright in the building. Y'all already know Jonathan Wright in this mud. The right way. What's You're good. What's good, dog? You know I already been ready to come on this podcast. For real? Up. Yeah. Stop playing. You you interviewing all the people. Like, stop playing. You had to get me. I've been working hard. Nah, facts. You said this is it's the right nah, one. You've been you been working hard. You've been doing your big one. No, you you finished? Oh. Yeah, I need something in the mouth. Oh, you trying? You trying? Oh, we, yeah. This might be fun. <laughs> so, we might we might get in the bag today. Can we get in the bag? Yeah, we always in our bag. All right, man. You can pull up, man. That's, that's on you. you. That's on you, dog. Yeah, that's on you. Just remember to pull your mic back whenever you uh um sit back. Bit. This n- talking about something strong. Pull it up. You like? I need some more. See, I drink though. I drink, but I don't drink. Bro, that's good though. Mm-hmm. That's trash. It ain't no some good. Shit. Some good. Yo, so um, I guess let's get let's get through the story for the people that don't know. I feel like your story's been out there so many times, but for my audience, for the people that don't know, uh, you run run through your resume. How you get started? shit? Um, like what? What you mean? Doing hair. Oh, so I started in the beauty industry. I started with this girl named Just Brittany. I really started in the hood doing fifty dollar quick weaves, but I started with this girl named Just Brittany. Was that with the industry. bobs? Yeah, them little bobs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I know a little something. <laughs> so I started like that. But um, what gave me my exposure? I started working with this girl named Just Brittany, and um, just me working with her. I was doing her hair for free, like doing her for free. I was dressing her mm. one day. Her hair stylist belt on her at the BET Awards, and I started doing her hair, and it started going viral. So I was like, start doing her. You know mm. what I'm saying? And it was just going viral, so I was like, that's how I got into the hair industry, and just her and her look was selling it. Mm. So I was utilizing her, but I was doing it for free. And it was God blessing me, and also, you know what I'm saying, utilizing her, you know what I'm saying, her face, and just giving my, you know, right. and learn. But before that, I feel like you, you, I feel like you skipped a whole, like, generation where you was, because you was, uh, Paying people to boost for you for a second. You were styling people, right? Yeah. So, like, when I was styling, I, like, me being in the streets, you know what I'm saying? You got your boosters. If you're really from the streets, you know you know what I'm saying? What's really going on? Right. You got your boosters in the streets and stuff. And me, at a young age, I'm not about to be going to these stores stealing, you know what I'm saying? But I was the driver sometimes, or mm. I'd be having to pay this girl, you know what I'm saying, the people to go get the stuff. And I'd be going to dress, you know what I'm saying, these people for free just so I can get, because I, I had a vision. Like, I'm in right. the hood, you know what I'm saying? There's nowhere to go, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm utilizing these people, what they do to 
benefit out like do work with these people just to get some exposure or notoriety just so I can, you know, start my career. Right. And that's what I was doing. So I was paying like boosters and stuff to go get clothes and stuff. And I was just dressing like the celebrity like I started dressing her and then I was going to LA and stuff. I started networking with other people, started dressing them and then I got into the beauty industry. Right. Like the her industry. Well you was what you was dressing um the girl you went to school with. What's her name? Uh Asian, Asian doll. doll. Yeah, Asian right? doll. I started off dressing Asian doll when she started, like, any type of rapping. I was going to get her clothes. Then mm-hmm. I started doing her hair and stuff. Like, yeah. How was that relationship? Y'all still f- each other? We, we on bad terms right now, but we we still, we forever good. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's forever my girl. Ain't that's annoying, though? Yeah. Like, it's annoying because, you know, but we friends. It ain't annoying because you, it's us. Like, you Wait, know. what happened if you don't mind? I, cause, so, let me set the, mm-hmm. the, set the bar straight. I did my research on you. Mm-hmm. I really, I, I promise you, I really don't be knowing about everything. So I might ask you some questions that I don't know. I'm just letting, I'm being mm-hmm. straight up. Yeah. Ain't no messy sh- being straight up. But you said y'all was beefing. What happened? Okay. We ain't beefing. It's, you know, that's just like, that's like my best friend. Like my, you know what I'm saying? That my day one. So you know how y'all get into it or whatever. It could be fake beef. No, it ain't no fake beef, but mm-hmm. I had to beat up her boyfriend. Cause this is, <laughs> <laughs> so I beat up her motherfucking boyfriend. I beat up her brother. I'm so, look, I ain't sorry. She For already what? know. Because we both got, we just like, she like a female version of me. So like we both got smart ass mouths. You know what I'm saying? And she had came back to Dallas, you know what I'm saying? When she come to Dallas, she stay at my spot. You know what I'm saying? But she was getting, you know what I'm saying, bored or whatever and brought her. So I'm like, you know, you can bring in or whatever, boom, boom, boom. She done brought him and stuff. And he just started, he, you know how when you, I don't know, he just was a goofy. You know what I'm saying? He was just a goofy and she knew he was a goofy. Mm. That's why she ain't messing with him. But she, hey, I had to beat his ass. Damn, man. And we got a tour behind it. I mean, I bet y'all did. Like, what the f***? Y'all friends, you got to relax. No, that people got to relax. You got to understand, like, when you have, like, the thing is, when you, like, you built, I built, I have my own, I have my own everything. Everything is built a certain way. Mm-hmm. I worked hard years and years to get my stuff. You know what I'm saying? This certain way. So when you have somebody that's coming into your stuff, messing up your energy it's just certain things you don't allow you know what i'm saying you allow for certain people like you know what i'm saying her boom boom boom. but when other people and extra people come in and when they start messing up the flow of the things that you have going on in your business Mm -hmm. it's like somebody it it, it gotta be a stop to it who the stop to it you know what i'm saying and i'm just not one of the people that's just gonna let something flow and just mess up my career like i'm still at the beginning of my career and still you know what i'm saying so it seemed like the littlest things Something can do, somebody can do to you, affect and just go big. So I'm like the type of person like, uh, uh-uh, get that for me. Yo, you know it's crazy though, bro. Oh man, I'm not trying to be in my soapbox, but I wouldn't be me if I didn't say this. I feel like you gotta be careful with that, bro, because the the litter you get, mm. it seems like the more come. No, for like real. the more you got to lose, the easier it is to lose your temper. Yeah, you feel me? Like, and I ain't trying to be like holier than thou. I always say that, but like, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, like. I used to be a crazy hothead. Mm-hmm. And like, it's been times where I had to walk away from fights where I cried. That's yeah. Cause you want to knock a nigga out, but it's like, don't let a nigga but, you out but that's, spot. That's the thing, that's, <laughs> I feel like there's life, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like the internet done painted a different picture. And I look, I ain't gonna lie, I love the picture kind of like, because at the end of the day, I'm a person that don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But it's like, I don't even give a person enough energy to be able to me so when a person that finally got into like you know what i'm saying getting into you know what i'm saying the situation is like damn i gotta lay these laws like mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying ain't nobody else going you know what i'm saying so i'm about to show you what you because you really don't play you know what i'm okay. saying sometimes you can walk you can walk away from stuff but it's sometimes you gotta let them up so nah, like facts. who you think who no nah, that's a fact i get it wait so was this because i know you was on a tv show uh one more time tell me bad boys bad boys yeah, was this televised what the fight or oh, this was some sh- personal sh- Real life. Oh no no! This is just our personal life. We, like we got our own everyday life. <laughs> we have a like a wonderful life. <laughs> I was about to say because I feel like yo, like a lot of people go into these reality TVs expecting something different, and it be the same boy. It be the same. But the thing is, a lot of people that that's where people mess up. Like even when I just like I really just got into the TV world. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'm just so who I am. I've been to who I am. Like I am me. You know what I'm saying? So. Me, I'm just going to be me. You know what I'm saying? A lot right. of people, you can either, like, if you understand me, you'll get intimidated. I mean, like, if you can understand me, you'll love me. But if you don't understand me, you'll get intimidated because it's right. like, damn, his personality is just so, you know what I'm big. So a lot of people like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But on the show, like, you can go on the show 
thinking that it's going to be some another way. So you trying to put on this, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Instead of being who you is and just like, camera's going to catch what it's going to catch. Facts. So, yeah. But do you, I just feel like, do you feel like that does, of course, okay, let's paint, let's set the stage. Of course, being on TV, reality TV, whatever it is, it gives you a platform, right? And it, it can yeah. bring a lot more publicity to what you got going on, which can make you more money. But do you think it's worth it in the long run? Because a lot of times we well, see. It wasn't. Me, I wasn't on there for the publicity or the platform because I've been here publicity and I've been here, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, humbly saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Not even trying to be like that, but I already made my mark before I even made it to a TV show, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? A lot of people be, be want, been wanting me on TV shows, but the only reason I did that because it was a financially gain for me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I financially won, I got an RV from it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, isn't... You know, sometimes I just like when you don't know what to do, and you just be like praying. You be like, God just got your footsteps. Mm-hmm. So t- sometimes you'll just. I feel like that was something. I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad, but sh- to do it and just, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And I never been on TV, so it was just something I was like, and I f- with the people, the network. It's a black owned, you know what I'm saying, network. What network is that? Zeus, Zeus I Network. I feel like a lot of people talk. That's cool, but that's because they're not there. You know what I'm saying? They want to be there, mm-hmm. and everybody's still watching it. And at the end of the day, they're going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah going up and it's steady going up after this is gonna go up more you know what i'm saying and that's another reason why i became a part of it because it was the beginning of well you, you got know, some, some stake in this who you got some stock in this in you know i'm an executive producer of bad boy season <laughs> two because <laughs> i'm like wait wait you but, got, it's gotta be but something. it's not even about that it's like i just literally earned that stripes because of the simple fact who i am and i'm starting to you know what i'm saying i'm like i said i came from nothing and i'm still growing mm. this is the beginning of just you know something new for me you know right. what i'm saying and i got my you know my my financial gain from me and everything so it's like it's it, that's done that's an era now it's next you know what i'm saying they gave the world a little you know what i'm saying that's my bad boy side mm-hmm. now people can see who i am a business person like everything else that i got behind it and even on that show it still shows you like the business with me mm-hmm. i got my salon i got my out like just everything that's in to the into the, you know what I'm saying, who I am. So you can just tune in and see. Was it anybody going to use beefing with before I start asking questions that I don't know about? I wasn't um, beef with nobody. I don't okay. beef with people. Like, right. you, it's not, like, you can't just really, if you beef with me, let's no, get I'm just it curious, because I might ask questions, and, you know, you ask questions, you don't know, you be like. No, you can ask your right, questions. Ask your questions. So before I go into that, though, I, want, I was just curious, because I, uh, I did do some, some research or whatever, and one thing that was consistent about, like, all the interviews you did was, like, my came from nothing. Mm-hmm. And I was wondering, like, how does it feel? Like, I know it might be a cliche or surface level mm-hmm. question, but I feel like it can go so many places. Like, how do you, do you ever like wake up and be like, damn, like I'm really like I'm really Jonathan Wright. Yeah, I'm I do really that every here. day. Like I do that every day. Like every that's what motivate me. Mm-hmm. Like I wake up every day. Like I'm Jonathan motherfucking Wright. Like right. and it, it's just because when you really came from nothing, it's a beautiful like it's just it feel good to be able to wake up and just have so many resources, just be able to like utilize a lot of things that you can utilize and just be able to move freely. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? Because it's when you, when you really came from nothing, it's like waking up trying to find a, find a play, find something to do, find a way out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So now when the ball is in your court, it's like, boom, I can do everything freely. So it's just, I wake up feeling good every day. I wake right. up trying to help people. Like, that's what I do. Like, I help people. I try to, you know, build different ways for different people that's why i got my people with me you know my everybody body. be from the bottom and i like to see where people go now you know what i'm saying the levels that people can go on now you because know? it be feeling you know what i'm saying nah, i want everybody else to feel that same feeling no nah, i mean i feel it like it's crazy and sometimes i'm not even gonna lie sometimes if it's it's frustrating because like the things you get frustrated about you can't even get frustrated anymore no like i think like something was going on like i don't know and i had to tell my girl like Bro, like this ain't like this ain't nothing. Like we yeah. really came from like some. Sh- can't be upset about nothing. Man, when I say <laughs> no, nah, on, on that one I got to like I that one is everything. Cause when I see all this and people be trying with me, it be like this. Sh- I be like y'all, y'all don't understand. This, this is sh- internet. Like this ain't nothing. Like I've really seen hard times. Hard times. Like what the f- this? Like I'm still. Li- I can still make some. I can still make a phone call, and make some money tomorrow if I wanted to. Today. That part. Like, th- that's the beauty of it. What are some of the things you see yourself doing that you never thought you would see yourself doing right now? Mm. Like, it might be some growth or whatever. Like, you're like, damn, like, damn, I really came into myself. Um, Pull your mic t- closer to you, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, what you mean? For example, so, um, 
So I don't want to say this because, listen, before I say it, you did an interview with uh, Adam22, right? Mm-hmm. And he asked you about like being a gay man, being locked up. Mm-hmm. And you was like, I'm not gay, I'm Jonathan. Mm-hmm. Right? So I don't know if you, yeah, like, I, I don't know, because I don't want to disrespect you. I don't know if yeah. you say that, whatever. But what I was going to say is I would never, I never, before I like got here, I never saw myself like sitting down with gay men having conversations. Like, I done did an interview with Cliff Vermeer. Mm-hmm. I seen you talking to Big Sexy. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you, like, so it's like, I really can see the growth in myself. And I feel like my peers can see the growth because like, you know, just being honest, young, you ignorant. Like you, like we were yeah. ignorant coming up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Now it was like, man, I'm proud of where I came. I, I'm, I'm proud of where I'm at. I'm able to like be comfortable in my skin. We could talk, like you know. And, and like, I look at you as a man, no matter what, what whatever mm-hmm. was going on. So I was I'm wondering if there's anything that you see yourself doing that you like. Damn, I never saw myself. I never would see myself doing it. Mm. We talking growth talk. You might gotta go in a bag and think about it. I ain't never seen myself doing her. For real? Like, for real, like, really, like, doing the people her I did. Like, before I really got into the her industry, like, I never seen myself doing her. So, damn. it's like, when I started doing her, it was like, damn, I'm slaying Nicki Minaj. I'm slaying, like, Lil' Kim, Keisha Cole, Ashanti, like, all these big people, Doja Cat, everybody. And it's like, crazy. that's like, I'm it's like, crazy. I, I still, that's why I say, like, every day I wake up, lit, like, happy. Cause it's like them things when I came from where I came from. I used to have a candy house, like in the projects. Wait, like, you used to have? Wait, nah, that's no, crazy. like for real, like literally had a candy Niggas house. Do it by the candy. All oh, my f- two a.m. selling burger baskets to the truck. That's everything. crazy. So like that's why, like I'll be like, damn, it's like Nicki Minaj, like, and it's just like me. I'm still me. Like I'm so still wait, the same wait, person. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you've been used to being popular? No, for real, like because Nicki, no, we. F- Candy lady in our crib, like back at the home. Project. Nigga, that's the thing. They used to have a cool the lady candy lady used to have the cool cups and all that. Shit. Then I'm about to have a I have my candy shop. You know what I'm saying? So in apartments, I had all the trap and not even that. Like I used to have the boosters. I used to have the clothes in there. I used to sell the kids shoes. Jeez. So all the tra- about the plates and the shoes for their kids. I really been him. Been like hustling. I been him. Like for real, been him. Damn. Like like call anybody. Like go lot anybody. So what made you? Back then. What made you? Uh, what made you like get into that? Like, because it's like I never had that stipulation. Like, can't nothing hold me back. Mm-hmm. So anything that I feel like God put in front of me, and I feel like I want to take advantage of, and I want to try to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you know what I'm saying. That was an opportunity for me, and God. Like sometimes you got to pay attention to you know what I'm saying. What God doing for you? Facts, no you know God. what I'm saying. And if you don't pay attention to God. Footsteps, like when I asked God to guide my footsteps all the time. Mm. So, jumped on it and look where I'm at. Like, you know mm. what I'm saying? I wouldn't even think it would have took me this far. But this is not the only business that I do. You know what I'm saying? I do so much other stuff and not even that. I'm just in the beginning of my career. Like, I'm so glad that this brought me to where I'm at just right. so I can start everything else. And you know what I'm saying? Just about take to get so the much RV right, right now. Go on tour. <laughs> about to like, go on tour right yeah. now as we speak. That's crazy. Like, and the crazy thing about that is like, I have a UPS truck. Mm. I you, I transformed that UPS truck to that beautiful. You know what I'm saying? But God bless me with an RV now to be able to like I even when I'm done with my tour, I'm renting my RV out to rappers. Like, I'm a rapid black. I'm be able to. You know how many so, so many upcoming rappers or rappers that want to be able to go on tour and can't afford it, but they'll be able to afford something like that to mm. utilize that or even business people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's a that's a bit that's a house on homes. I mean a house on wheels. No, so no. like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta continue to grow. No, no. Been getting to it. This ain't new. And it ain't gonna stop. No, like that's right. the thing about it. Yo, what does that mean to you though? Like you feel me like seeing that you you've been a hustler, right? Mm-hmm. You just is waiting on a the different opportunity. What they say success is when Preparation meets opportunity, mm-hmm. right? Like you seeing all these, you being prepared and meeting all these uh, opportunities to be successful. Like I know you say you look on, you look back on it all the time, but what does that mean? Like to be where you at? Um, it feels good and it means a lot because of the simple fact. Sometimes I can forget where I'm at, and I got people that's still where I started from, mm-hmm. and they congratulate me, like they like keep going, or they like I'm watching you, or I see you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it it put me back to where I was and it's like, 
keep going. You know what I'm saying? Go, you know what I'm saying? Go, go a little more. Mm-hmm. Give them a little more motivation. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? I never get comfortable. Like a lot of people get comfortable and feel like, like you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You done made it, or I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like two this million followers, shit, like, and I still don't feel like that. When I say too many followers, like I be, like I still at the end of the day breathe the streets. Like, I have yeah. to breathe this to people because it's it's like a lot of people that get stuck, and I see that. Like I'm the person from Dallas that's giving them like oh. light. You know what I'm saying? Hope. So it's like I want to be that person that keep like I don't like I was just at the Floyd Mayweather thing. I, it was promised that I was supposed to be open up for Floyd Mayweather and fighting. I did no boxing, but if I can make it to the motherfucking arena, open up for Floyd Mayweather and motivate cousin in boxing, like kill my cousin them, man, it's like so if I can do whatever I can keep doing, I'm gonna keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it, it, I'm not even gonna lie, it's almost like a breath of fresh air because like even I was talking about Atlanta, like black Hollywood, everybody like, you know, wanna be somebody. Mm-hmm. But it feel good to sit down and talk to somebody who's like legitimately like lit. Like legitimately lit, but still as hungry, still as mm-hmm. hungry, still as like down to earth, still as hu- humble. Yeah. You don't, you don't get it a lot. There's, there's not a lot of people like that. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. That's, I had them same problems when I first came to Atlanta. Mm. Like, um... No, like, no messy shit, but with Arrogant Tate and them, like, you know what I'm saying? They was, I was working with, like, Alexis Scott and them, like, you know what I'm saying? And it was just, like, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? I, this was when I was first in the industry. A lot of people don't understand, like, I was coming from nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people was already where they was. I always credit people, like, for what the work that they do. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people always do good work. But when it's, like, a different person that's coming from nothing, like, I'm not even focused on nobody else, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people was like cock blocking and not trying to, you know what I'm saying? But God was still knocking down them doors, you know what I'm saying? And just, yeah, like no matter what, putting me in rooms where I wouldn't even like, you know what I'm saying? And it'll make people mad and you'll never know. So it's like, right. you just gotta keep going and keep just, yeah, cause you never know like who, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it was. Like when I came to Atlanta, I, that's why I feel like, I know how Atlanta feels. That's why I never, me, I always stayed in Dallas. I never moved from Dallas. Mm. I'm still living in Dallas to this day, a big ass house. But the thing is, is like, I know to move. Flex mo- that nigga flex. Yeah, I know to move. House. No, for real. I know to go to different places, but I never get comfortable with wanting to live somebody else's lifestyle mm. or live how somebody else is living until like I financially got myself to where I can definitely live this lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people would think that I'd be coming out here to Atlanta trying to boom and boom, but bitch, I'm coming out here to work. Every right. time I came to Atlanta, I work. I was doing heads, boom, back to back to back. So it'll make people mad, like, damn, he out here trying to boom, boom, boom. No, but I'm out here working, and a lot of people, was, you know what I'm saying? Right. People will fuck with that, and just shit, naturally people fuck with I wanted with to me. talk about the arrogant taste shit, right? Because, like, both of y'all are lit in y'all own right. Mm-hmm. And, again, I don't know nothing, but I'm just, since you brought it up, I'm just curious. That got to be frustrating when it's like, bro, like, honestly, niggas can be eating together. Like it don't have to be common. No, I don't know how I don't know how you feel about it, but I look at it from an outsider. I know people use this moment to like stir up shit, but that ain't me, right? I'm yeah. looking at it like niggas is both lit, like that, bumping heads. But that's the thing. A lot of it's a stupid, lot of people almost. know. The thing is, what it is. A lot of people, a lot like the energy in the new world. Like they run with different people, and people don't see their own work. Mm. A lot of people never see their own work. And they don't believe in themselves. Like some people have so much good work, and you know what I'm saying, be with so many other people that they don't see their own work. Mm. So sometimes when somebody else that's, that's coming up and they know they worth, you know what I'm saying, it's like 
Because it's been plenty of times I'm like, oh, bitch, we could have did a tour. Well, let's do some. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm eating. It's not nobody's money. You know what I'm saying? I'm a person that's really eating. I'm selling like $40,000 like classes, like all type of shit. Like I set shit up and I do the mathematics and do what I need to do to get what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's not nobody that's going to add to me or, you know what I'm saying, subtract yeah, to me. Facts. You know what I'm saying? God got everything that I do. So a lot of people just be scared and just, you know what I'm saying, because they think somebody else going to take their shine or but when they don't naturally understand, like, when you come together, especially where the world have came from, when you come together, it'll be a different type of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so facts. I think, like, um, like on certain, like, uh, as far as the work, what, who came first, him or you? Oh, he been in the industry. So He been doing his thing. It's crazy. It's frustrating for, like, taking him out of it, right? Like, me coming up, when I used to host and shit, mm. I used to always, it used to hurt my, I'm, I'm going to keep it all the way funky with you. When I was in Baltimore before I came to Atlanta, mm -hmm. that shit used to hurt my feelings, because, like, you got niggas that's really lit at the host and at doing interviews, and they really could like take you under that wing and really like show you the way. And niggas, it seems like niggas be so scared that they're gonna lose their spot that that they don't want to mentor niggas no more. Well, that's definitely right. But sometimes I feel also even like with you on on that thing, I feel like the world need to understand. Stop looking up to people. Mm. Sometimes people need to stop looking up to people and stop looking up to this image that the media is selling. Because a lot of people, it's a lot of people that's really doing it and it's a lot of people that's paying somebody to do it for them Jeez. and to build an image for them. You know what I'm saying? Smoking mirrors. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? So my thing is I feel like do you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Be you. Do everything that you do. Like, you know what I'm saying? If a, Like, collaborate try to work with somebody if a motherfucker don't see your vision show them your vision mm. and that's where a lot of people a lot of people get hurt from trying to work with somebody or like get mentored by somebody and this personality you know what i'm saying everybody got their own problems in life you know what i'm saying right. everybody facing a real life you know what i'm saying it's life so you need to understand like get motivated and just do boom 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 if a person like you know what i'm saying just keep it's different it, this is not the only person this way or you always this? i always like i felt this way because Shit, like I, you know what I'm saying. I got. You had to learn it somewhere. No? Well, I learned it. Like I came from nothing. Like you know what I'm saying. Like me having a candy house, that was me providing for my mom and him. Like you know what mm. I'm saying. My daddy went to jail. Like you know what I'm saying. It was just times that where it was real survival mode. You know what I'm saying. It's like I refuse to lose myself. I refuse to be like you know what I'm saying. I look at my family. I look at different people. Like, I still have people I can FaceTime right now. They probably like you know what I'm saying. On a, you know what I'm saying. Just in, you, you, yeah, yeah. You gotta relax, bro. He can't. He. Can't. He talking some <laughs> shit. You got to chill. Hold up. Hold up, bro. Bro, you came with something on your chest, bro. You came with no, a chip on his me. shoulder. That's me. Like, I'll just be like, I'm really like that, you know? Yeah, but, so wait, wait. I understand you blessed, you humble, but it's, it got to be some part in you that feel like you know you really like that, but niggas is playing with you. It always been like that. Like, people never see me. Like, I mean, well, people see me now, right? but look how long it took them to see me. And do you still carry that sometimes? Because I do. But I, ain't, I don't got too many followers, but... Yeah, I carry that because at the end of the day, I still see the shit that people play with me with, like Facts. this drama shit, like the social media stuff, the TV stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? A person don't know me. Mm. So, like, they'll try to come with, like, different things. So, I have to have that. And I'm a man. It comes with being a man. It comes with being a king. Facts. Fuck a man. It comes with being a king and having no army. Like, I have an army, but it comes with me being out here in the world by myself being a king not like right. you got people that's going to try you got boom 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 so you have to stand up i'm not about to be no weak ass nigga no put you know what i'm saying I, it's me by myself mm. bitch i'm not about to let anybody take me out like it's this is real world mm. like you know what i'm saying now do you feel like people look at you differently because help me out because I, I i step definitely want to respect you right you said like when adam twins you said you didn't say you was gay a gay man but like how do yeah. i i'm jonathan but how do come on bro Talk i'm jonathan me. but i'm saying like what Nigga, you know what I'm trying to say. You, I don't know what you're trying to say. I was going to say a gay man, right? But I'm I ain't no gay man. Do you? Uh, what? Bro. Have you on. ever seen me with a man? Bro, I, yeah, I don't know. First of all. Uh, okay, so then where you get gay men from? Oh, my God. So where do you get gay men from? This is going to be the clip. <laughs> like, he said this is going to be the clip. Where do you get gay men from? He turned up. So like, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, so I was, I was, where I'm trying to go with this is, do you feel like because of, I don't know, your demeanor or whatever, uh -huh. people try to treat you differently because they look at you as i don't Help know how people look at me question, bro. i don't know the question i don't know what people look at me i just know i'm jonathan 
Like bitch, people look when people run up to me, they be like, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Like what you think? The niggas be like Jonathan, the bitches be like Jonathan, everybody like Jonathan. <laughs> what do I supposed to be like? Like what do I be like? He not playing, nigga. No, like I'm for fine. real? Nah, nah, he can't. I fu- he came with the right energy today, bro. <laughs> he came to talk no, for shit. He came to talk <laughs> shit. I'm feeling it. But all right. Fuck, I got to pass. Now I can't even Look. ask the question. Because I was going to ask you, like, I feel like you do have a whole, like, for you it's different. Like, and I feel like you can't ignore that, though. Like what? It's different. All right, so it's different from being a black man, right? Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, they say, first of all, the most, dis- the most disrespectful person in the world is a black woman, right? But they I say, feel like. They say that? Yeah. Never heard that. Why they, why they say that? No, I really, I, I ain't never heard that. Hey, you gotta be careful, cause the woman gonna kill you for that. But what black women are easily the most disrespectful? Most why? disrespected. Oh, disrespected. Yeah, yeah. I you thought you said disrespectful. Ex. Oh no, hell no. no, I, uh, no I might be my accent. No, no, they the most disrespected. But I was gonna say after that. I never heard that, but I can't see that though. How easy? Niggas be shitting on women. Easy, especially think about it like when. Yeah, I mean we can go into politics, I, but women do stuff too, and that's the thing. I know mm-hmm. women, women do stuff to play with men too, and that's the thing about it. Like, like y'all will never know how sneaky women is, but men is sneaky too. Men play the same women games. See? It's just, and that's the thing what people don't understand. People be playing games, and then people want to come from playing the game, and then now the game start playing on them. So you know what I'm saying? The, you know, so so you. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You came. To give me straight good content. I was trying to go deep and then you just went left. Like, fuck it. Women do shit too. Fuck it. Like, let's talk about the women then. What they be doing? Tell me the what secrets. What you mean? Tell me the secrets. Shit. They I tell don't you. know the secrets. Like, you got to <laughs> talk you, about you, it. You, you brought it up. You said women be doing shit too. No, I'm just saying like, that's just, like, you don't think, that's what that's why they call bitches bad. That's why it's bad bitches. Like, you got bad bitches. You got bitches. Like, that's the definition of a bad bitch. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bitches will play the same game as, as a nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they'll play the game 10 times harder. Facts. And you got niggas that'll play the game 10 times harder. So it's like, who, like, is we gonna play the game or not? Nah, facts. So that's the thing is, a lot of people will start playing the game and then come from playing the game and want to fall in love. So what I was gonna try to say, right, I was trying to keep writing my, I'm trying to go into this conversation. I think it's really important. I want to talk to you about it because I think it's super dope if if we can go there. I was gonna say, I feel like women are the most disrespected. Okay. But right after that, I do feel like Gay men are probably next in line of the disrespect. Mm-hmm. And I was going to ask you, I, I really think, like, you know, me trying to be respectful, I'm trying to, like, teeter the line, but I feel like you do hold hold it down. Stop being respectful. Be you. All right. I'm being me, nigga. I'm talking okay, about it, nigga. Okay. This is hard. Yeah. I don't know you. It's my first time meeting you. It's hard to have this fucking conversation. But okay. um, I feel like being a gay man in the world, like, and, and being so successful, you, you got to feel like, is is more than just you, like right, right. I feel like you you definitely holding it down for so many gay men that's out there who don't feel like they can speak out. You, you calling me gay? Uh, yeah, nigga. God damn. Well, I, if that's what you want to call me, then that's what you call me. <laughs> I'm holding it down for all the motherfucking black kings out here. All right, I'm man. holding it down for oh, everybody. We can't have this. I'm holding it down for all the men. Period. Oh my god, we can't have this. But I have I understand what gay <laughs> men go through because yeah, I have a lot of people that's on my team. Why you I point? have a lot of people because I have just everybody like it's but a lot point? of people. Niggas ain't pointing at you. You just point it. You just point it. Because the thing is, a lot of people pick a picture. It's the picture that people paint. Mm. You can paint a picture, like you probably paint a picture that I'm gay because you probably see flamboyant ways. Mm. And then you will probably see somebody that's dressed probably like a girl, and then you will give them a whole different energy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, that's probably what you're trying to t- touch. Right. So, it's like, the thing is, it's like, what the fuck do, does it matter? Like, you know what I'm saying? What is like, what is what is, what, is, what, what is it that the person, who what y'all want to talk about? You know what I'm saying? Right. What is it, like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, p- everybody is who they is because you can look at somebody like you and they be gay. And that's gay, you know what I'm saying? So it's right. like, you never know what nobody doing. Like, you never know, like, so I think it's just about stop, like, live your motherfucking life. Worry about mm. yourself, you know what I'm saying? Not even about worry about yourself, but do what the fuck you do and make, you know what I'm saying? But be, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I feel it. That's why. But I ask that because I feel like people do treat gay pe- men differently. Like I, I feel like niggas do. Act, like we can't. We know the world we live in. Yeah, nigga. No, we no. Know that's what why I say that people do treat. But it's the picture that people they they create. They the treat the, uh, the narrative what they see. You know what I'm saying? No, and they right. do treat people wrong. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you know. But that's because 
people are scared to be who they are mm. and people are already a certain type of way because who the fuck like you know what i'm saying a lot of people excuse me a lot of people i don't seen a lot like videos on the internet people just fighting like transgenders or you know what i'm saying gay people that's really because they're lost in their side and they gay as fuck and you know what I'm saying? They don't want to show it. That's why I was gonna go something. with it. That's she go to her. That's why I was gonna go with. It. I feel like I feel like you know to be honest. I understand. So it's two. It's two ways. I understand the world we live in because I came up in that. You feel me? I came up in the hood and I and I came up in, you know, wanting to live this, have a certain bravado about you. You know what I'm saying? But as I became an adult, I understand that nobody else dictates who I am. Right? Nobody, no matter who you are, what you do. That don't that don't mean shit because it's three hundred and sixty five motherfucking days in a year, nigga. Fuck, that is a trillion people in this world, and another person don't dictate what the fuck I do. You feel me? So like, I do feel like niggas like as a grown up, as a kid, I feel like it's it's, it's different because you ain't know nobody. But as a grown up, I feel like if you worried about if a nigga gay or not, then you probably got some shit you need to deal with work on. It's some shit that you really need to be fucking working on if you worried about if a nigga gay or not. Like what is you like? <laughs> I mean, if you were like that's like me coming in this interview. Like damn, have you like you know what I'm saying? That's like that's di- first off, it's disrespectful to even go into somebody's sexual lifestyle. Mm. People is too motherfucking comfortable with going into people's sexual lifestyles and just you know what I'm saying. So like me, that's like you know what I'm saying. That's just dis- like it's just like what the fuck is you worried about it for? Mm. Like you want some type of piece of it or you want some type of part of it or what is it you know what i'm saying you can say you want some type of part of it like <laughs> what is it <laughs> you want some, so for me because i have a platform i do want um i feel like people's stories are important mm-hmm. right and i feel like um just me like and i feel like sometimes when we hold on to our story it's selfish of us yeah because so many people who, who look at you yeah that's not me i'm not as lit as you right they look at you and they say Damn, he's motivation. Mm-hmm. But it's so much more motivation outside of what you do. Right. Right. And that's why I try to have those conversations, those intellectual deep conversations, because I want to know more about you as a human. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody else can learn, like, damn, I was going through the same shit. Yeah. He gave me motivation to speak in this or, mm-hmm. or speak on that. And right. that, that's why I ask about it, to be mm-hmm. honest. So, again, no disrespect intended, but that's why I go into those conversations. Period. So what you asking me? <laughs> Nothing. I'll react, yeah. nigga. Like uh, we already talking. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did want to ask you. Um, doing coming up doing Nicki Minaj here, right? Mm-hmm. I think we already got into like the Tay shit. Yeah. But when you do people hair, do you find it hard to like? You find it type of clicky? Like it's hard to do other people hair because if they beef with somebody. No, but um, sometimes it could be a stigma or something like you know what I'm saying. And in, in that, but it's like. Me being who I am and my personality is like, bitch, y'all got to understand, I came from nothing. Mm. Like, I, I'm i literally trying to grow. I'm not trying to be in this same, I'm not, I'm, you're not about to be paying me forever. You're not about to be securing my lifestyle, my mother bills, my, you know what I'm saying? So I have to continue to grow. I need all these chicks. Right. So it's not about, and it's not about money hungry, but it's about growth. I know where I started and I know where I'm trying to go. But it got to be a such thing as like being... Like a head hoe, like a hair hoe, right? Like, like you hopping from hair to hair, hair person to person, right? Got to have no. Loyalty. It's a business. It's like when you have when you are artist, like that's the thing. It's not about bitch. I'm an artist, mm. and I do good work, and I am in having everybody haven't seen my work, having nobody, everybody haven't seen my art, and have, everybody haven't experienced me. And I want people to motherfucking experience who the fuck I am. I don't give a damn how nobody feel. Like, for real. Like, I'm motherfucking growing. Like, this is me. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I, fuck, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with it because you so authentic, so authentically you. Like, yeah, like, like unapologetically you. Like, I fuck with that. That's me. But I feel like some people do talk about loyalty with hairstylists. That's a thing, right? But that's the thing. Like, me, I'm loyal. I'm at every appointment. I try to be at every appointment. But the thing is, when... That's why a lot of these hairstylists is in the same boat they are in, and that's why I'm like, literally, I am growing. A lot of hairstylists are have to drop products and stuff. That's that's that be the growth of a lot of hairstylists. Mm-hmm. But I have made over a million dollars just in doing, you know, hair without no manager, no labels, no, you know what I'm saying, no nothing. I literally just started looking for like a PR and a team just so I'm because I'm about to go on tour and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I built all this shit by myself, and 
to be able to gain so much money, like, you know what I'm saying? I be getting paid ten to twenty thousand dollars for just being on set of a video shoot mm. and directly wired to my account. You know what I'm saying? So it's like sometimes I be like, Bitch, I ain't did this without you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? When you closing deals by yourself, reading over yourself, it's like it's a it's a different feeling. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like when I'm not worried about because I know one person can't do all this. One person, another, one person have a whole another family that they're feeding. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's so, fact. and if a person don't understand that I'm trying to grow, I'm not literally trying to stand. Like it's not about nothing else. And I'm I'm a, I'm a real artist. I, I have to get my shit everywhere. And this is just the beginning of my who I am in my career. If you're trying to hold me back, you're trying to stop me from who I am. But it gotta be like some line you draw, right? Or no? Like, like for example, it's definitely a line I draw because okay. it's it's definitely it's a value thing. Like you know what I'm saying? You know your worth. You know your value. If it's not worth your value, or if it's not beneficial, or if it's not, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? And if it's not messy, it's not ill intent. You know what I'm saying? I don't move off of ill intent. I don't move off of messy drama. Like, and that's what a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I know how the industry is. Say for instance, I do one person her a, a week later, this other person trying to book me. No, I don't move like that. People do that go, intentionally. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying, and I know that. You know what I'm saying? But don't get me wrong. I would do somebody her, and like say for instance, two months later, if I get booked by this other person, I'm definitely boom boom boom. And it's not no mess in the media, or it's not. You know what I'm saying? Do you call that person and let them know beforehand, or you just do your work? No, I just do my work. I'm booked. I'm booked for a check. Mm. I'm not about to call this person talking about nothing. Like I don't discuss other people with them. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Sometimes, like if I'm doing somebody her and they be like, "Oh, you done did such and such her." Yeah, I slayed that person. Boom, boom, boom. Good energy. Boom, boom, boom. I speak about you know what I'm saying. The experience right. that I have. That's that. I don't give a fuck about what nobody else experience or how another person is. I'm gonna brag on each client because I'm always having a good experience. So you're gonna hear nothing but good shit from them. You know what I'm saying? Is it hard being? In this industry, like you, because like I'm not gonna lie, I come like I think it's just like just talking to you is super dope, and it's like you you super real, but you think about the industry is super fake, and I'm just assuming like it's it's not horrible because it's like I'm just me. I knew how the industry was before I got in it, and I like when you coming from the hood, like people like people in the hood to tell you like don't let the don't let the industry change, like don't let the world change you when you start blowing up. Don't let nothing change you, and I'm just like so me is like. Shit, I ain't gonna never let nothing change. So every day is like when I'm doing these big people, it's like, shit, I'm Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm walking in these rooms who I am. They be like, oh, why you don't act like this? Her bitch, I don't know nothing about them. Like, I'm me. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, I, and when I, like, it feel good, like, when people run up and be like, oh, I love you for who you is. Like, bitch, you love for me, me for being me. Mm. Bitch, let me keep being me. Like, Facts. you know what and, I'm saying? And it, it gotta be niggas who, yo, just come in, bro. Come on, man. Open the door, man. Right. <laughs> like you're knocking on the door, open the door. Um, I was gonna say, uh, it gotta feel good when niggas, you probably at this point, I know you probably got niggas that book you, girls that book you, just because it's you. Like I, I want the experience that, to get my head. That's the by. thing, and that's the thing. It's an experience. The world move off of experience. People love the experience, that's and hard. that's why I, you know what I'm saying. That's why I do what I do. Like a lot of people, yeah, they book, they know, know they know they're gonna get good quality, good work. But they also love the experience. Fact. I also build people. I'm not just no person that's oh doing your her. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm building a person. Like I'm giving them energy. I'm feeding. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say I don't got time coming on negative energy. Yeah, like fact. people keep booking me. I'm booked by like high end celebrities. I'm booked overseas. Like real shit. Like you humbly saying I came from nothing. I done did classes in Paris. All type of stuff just doing her and because of my energy. Like people love me. You know what I'm saying? Not and fact. it's like. I can legitly say we just said this. Uh, I feel like I was just joking. I feel like people that always be like, I'm big on energy, I'm big on energy, they be the ones with the bad energy. But I can honestly say, I fuck, bro, I fuck with you. Like, you really came on some shit. I like, say I'm big on energy, but I do understand what you're talking like, about. Like, niggas, everybody be like, I'm big on energy. <laughs> nigga, you the fuck, you got the bad energy. <laughs> like, niggas, I'm big on energy. <laughs> My, nigga, it's your energy. <laughs> What's going on? What, what I'm I missing? got a friend that, that be on, like, and he done got with this girl. Okay, I know you watching this. <laughs> he be like, it's um, what's the word? He be using, um, aesthetic. No, no, not aesthetic. Um, low vibrational. low vibrational. He the one who got me on like energy and low vibrational and high vibrational shit. Nigga, you the low vibration. Like who? <laughs> no, I'm saying that's why. Uh, like, that's why I be like, I be like, damn, K, is you low vibrational? Nah, but he high vibrational. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with this guy? 
Yo, this nigga came, which I was doing before this. This nigga came on one, bro. Like, he was not holding mm-hmm. back, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga is crazy. All right, let me ask you this then. I'm trying to have these real conversations and shit. Like, he joking and shit. All right. I thought we'd been having a real conversation. Oh, we were. Nah, you've been talking. Okay, real come shit. on. So, coming from nothing, right? Mm-hmm. You got to care about, uh, like, your image and how you present yourself. Mm-hmm. Have you ever. Have you ever did something where people judged it wrong? Like we talking about, like you know, um, people booking you and it being messy. Have you ever, like, I don't know, did somebody else hair and you wasn't on no bullshit, mm-hmm. but somebody else took it the wrong way and he's like, damn, like it wasn't like that. Yeah, that's a lot. Like there's like just me working with that's like part of the, you know what I'm saying, the industry, the beauty, th- like you know me working with different people. Like me, I don't know what people got going on or if somebody fucking with somebody nigga or if you know what I'm saying I'm naturally a hairstyle naturally some a hairstyle is that's doing her you know what I'm saying so I don't work with a lot of people like that had drama secret drama or even you know what I'm saying drama that was on the internet and you know what I'm saying they try to like you know what I'm saying say something I'm like look this ain't you know what I'm saying I don't got nothing to do with it and they respect me mm-hmm. they respect because they know they'll never hear nothing coming back you know what I'm saying and even there's like the real life, like even with me being on, you know, TV now and having the, the fights that I done had, like me, I'm not a person that start fights. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a person that start nothing. But if you step to me with the drama, I'm not playing. I'm going all the way in. You, you know what I'm saying? Cheers and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna I beat your ass with a chair because he picked up the chair first and tried to hit me. Okay. So I had to mix his ass. I up. heard about that shit. I mixed his ass. You ain't see the part it where was he some had, WWE type shit. It was welcome to the streets. <laughs> 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 But um, he picked up a chair first and hit me with, tried to hit me with it, and I took the chair and beat his ass with it. But it's like, don't start nothing with me. I ain't nah. gonna start with you. No, nah, fact, that's crazy. Damn, bro. But is, is it as a? So you say you had conversations where um, my password is uh nineteen ninety one ninety one. So it's in the case. Um, have you ever had situations where you like you know it's just you, but they still took it personal and they like I don't know cut you off or just it went further than. You wanted it to go? Just unintentionally? It'd be like that a lot. Like, I I see that, like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like a person to be mad or something and that don't, don't respond to me. That don't make you, you know, upset? It'll, it'll make you feel me. Don't get me wrong. It'll fake me. Like, I have that stuff with a lot of people. It'll fake me. But I am, like, I'm not going to show my feelings. When the like, last time somebody hurt you? Who, who was the last person that hurt your feelings that happened to it's a therapy know. session, nigga. Nah, 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 nah. I don't like, say I don't know. Nah, you were talking is, this whole time. I don't let people, like, I don't pay attention to it. Like, you nigga, know what I'm saying? you know when the last time somebody hurt you. No, feelings. I don't. Like, I don't. I be holding my feelings in. Cap, I hold my feelings in. You full of shit. Like, I literally hold, I'm numb to, like, the shit. Like, when the last time you had a girl hurt your feelings? A girl? I've been with my girl for, like, five years, so it's been when a while. last time oh, she hurt your feelings? Oh, my girl? Yeah. All the fucking time. Okay, then. I about to say. Nigga, <laughs> 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 what the fuck you talking about, nigga? Well, she I don't know. She get my fucking hurt my feelings all the time. But if... When the last time another girl hurt your feelings? I've been with my girl for five years, so... But another girl hurt your feelings just off of just... It, oh, it like... Be, you know what I'm saying? Anything. Oh, so, um... You hmm. don't remember, right? A person? I know the last... A person hurt my feelings. Who? If I tell you, you gotta tell me. Okay. All right. So, um, he ain't hurt my feelings, but it hurt my feelings. Mm-hmm. So I did an interview with uh, sheesh, fuck it, we going. <laughs> I did an interview with DJ Drama, right? Mm-hmm. And I posted like a funny clip. Mm-hmm. So he hit me like, um, damn, you chose the messy clip. I'm like, yeah, I'm just trying to get people to come in. You feel me? Like it was like I didn't do it on no intentional shit. I did it. Like, it was to, intentional. I did it to get people in. It wasn't to like put bad light on nobody. Yeah. Like that's never been me. Uh-huh. I did it to like you know because people love messy shit. People love funny shit. Mm-hmm. So I did it for that. So when he hit me, he might not even have felt the way. But when he hit me and asked me, I'm like, damn, he probably feel the way. So I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, damn, I hope he don't think I'm on no bullshit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, my, cause like I don't want to burn bridges. Like I'm new in this shit. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to. I need to build relationships as much as I can. Right. So that definitely kind of made him like. I was scared. I'm like, man, I hope he don't think I'm on no bullshit. Right. Cause like I care. I do care. Yeah. So nah. So when the last time somebody hurt your feelings, who was it? Um. I just I really gave you. Remember. I just gave you. Oh, what they call it? A T on my fucking platform. I hope none of none of y'all even recorded that shit. <laughs> so now you owe me one. Mm, what last time? Be about? real. I really like. People hurt my feelings all the time. Cause I got feelings. Nah. When the last time somebody hurt your feelings, who was it? On some professional shit too. Last time somebody hurt my feelings. On some professional shit. 
Okay. Um, you might have did something that you ain't mean, and they took it the wrong way. Damn, I'm trying to see. Because I'm always people always take stuff the wrong way. So tell me, who was it? Like? Now you was just giving it up. Now you you quiet. Nah, nah. Talk. They probably know. They probably like. There's so many. Probably like when I worked with Six Nine. For real, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. You know, I used to do Six Nine wigs. Yeah. So like, that ain't the last time, but like. That's what I can remember right now. You know what I'm saying? So he but, stopped fucking with you because of something? Hell no. So what hurt you? I'm feelings? just saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Me working with him, a lot of people had a way to feel. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And I briefly didn't care, but I still work with, a, you know what I'm saying, my people, but a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, would, like. Who I was guess, one person in particular that that, that, that was, like, wasn't fucking Asian with Asian doll. For real? Yeah. So, like, that's, like. Asian doll from Detroit, right? Not bitch. No, not Asian. No, I'm thinking about. from Dallas. I'm thinking about, um. Uh, Ooh. Cash Doll. Yeah, Cash Doll. Cash Doll from bad. Detroit. The, the shit from Detroit. My bad. So, yeah. a so Asian Doll felt the way that she was doing six nine here. Yeah, because you know, um, her man, you know, her man is motherfucking Von. Okay. You know okay. Okay. But you know what I'm saying? That was my business. Like you know what I'm saying? It was you know what I'm saying? And I ain't. Bitch, I had to get some money. <laughs> I was broke as fuck then. Okay. And then they paid me twenty thousand. Did you did you did you talk to her and like did she understand? Yeah, but no, nah, yeah. We was okay. understood like I was around Vaughn and everything even after that. You know what I'm saying? He even understood what it was, but it was like that was just one of the situations. Damn. You know what I'm saying? We'd been back around each other everything. Now I think it's 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 dope because like it shows that niggas is human. Like even yeah. like me sharing my story, I feel like cause sometimes because we are people People feel different ways about different things. Yeah, and that's a lot of that's why I love her. Like, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, like, she's she's that bitch. Like, for real. That that bitch can rap. Like, they ain't fucking with her. Like, but a lot of people un don't understand. Like, when you out here by yourself, you don't have nobody else defending for you. You don't have nobody else that got your back. You don't have nobody else that, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes when you have you feel like the world is against you, mm. sometimes you say something. Yo, you lash out and you don't mean, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you ain't got really, you really in these streets and you ain't got nobody, sometimes social media is what you got. Mm -hmm. That's where the world, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's where Asian kind of went to. Like, she got into a space to where, like, she didn't have nobody. And even she ran, her, she ran away from a lot of people because she felt like she was just so alone and nobody, you know what I'm saying, had her back. And... Sometimes she just vented to social media and people took, you know what I'm saying, a lot of shit that she said the wrong way. Mm. But that bitch is that bitch. No, like, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I think you should I think you should leave the uh reality TV shit alone and do, start a podcast, bro. I got a podcast. I think, what's, what's you need the name to come of on it? my podcast. What's the name of it? It's called Let's Talk Friend. Did you create that word for real? Yeah. Friend? Yeah, I've been having that you word forever. That word. Yes, I did. You stole it from somebody from Dallas. Man, it was I a young Dallas. nigga in Dallas. I am Dallas. You stole it from I somebody. am Dallas. Like, I am Dallas. Like, <laughs> I am Dallas. Ain't nobody in Dallas that ain't Dallas to me. Like, <laughs> like for real. So you got podcasts for real? You gonna bring me on? Yeah. What is it? I hope it ain't no bullshit. What is it about? No, it's called Let's Talk, friend. For real. Now everybody see. We, you gotta come on my podcast. All right, man. I'm coming on. It's, I, it's in Dallas? I only got two interviews on it, though. So, you know, nigga, that's good. You the beginning of the patch. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's like I yeah, was with Zeus. Man, show my man love, man. It was a yeah. podcast. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, you just started a Start podcast. That's fire. Yeah, I started a year ago. I ain't did nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to start from somewhere. Yo, like, one day, you got to start because one day you might want to go back. Like, Yo, you got to start I can't so be much. Serious with like, for stuff, real. Bro, like. That's this motherfucker fault. He don't be recording my shit. Oh, that's crazy. Mm. Damn, bro. So, um, now nah, I, I definitely, um, I say that because, like, I fuck with, I, I like, this was an enjoyable conversation, bro. I feel like more people need to, like, stop being afraid of that story. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. people be coming Why people be, I be seeing them, like, I, tell, please tell me, because I be looking, I really went down your page and I was Don't like, Don't ask me no names, bro. Please. I was like, Why people just be looking like this? Yeah. I think, bro, um, bro. so I just did an interview not too long ago. I ain't gonna say no names. And, um, what happened, what I will say is, all right, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to be honest. I think it's a multiple things. One, when people aren't as familiar with you, right? Mm -hmm. People don't know me. I'm still growing. You know what I'm saying? When they're not as familiar with you, they're not, they not going to be, they don't want to share their story with you, one, right? Two, uh, I talked to Zonique, and she broke this down super, like, super dope for me. As a celebrity or somebody who has uh, clout or whatever, anytime you you tell your story, mm -hmm. the media uses that as like, 
as a way of like an end, right? To talk shit about you, to use it for cl clickbait and clout. Mm -hmm. So when I'm trying to speak to somebody, if they don't know me, it could seem like I'm trying to do the same thing. When on our actuality, I'm just trying to show the growth, right? But but in order to talk about the growth, right. you gotta talk about what you've been through. That's why I be saying like motherfuckers can't get stuck on little shit, bitch. You know you went through this. Let a motherfucker know what's going on. Mm. Going on to the next. Like it ain't about. That's where a lot of people get stuck at. Like that's why I be like, why the fuck is they just sitting in that chair like they stuck in a chair? Not, but it like, takes you, time though. Think about, like I'm I'm fresh. I, I, nigga, I, I walked up. How much time do it take? Nah, I but drove you different up, though. Bro. I drove thirty minutes over here. I walked, took some pictures outside. We walked the fuck upstairs. Bitch, I knew I, I had an interview. That. I, I knew, that's what I'm saying. That. I knew I had an interview. So how much motherfucking time? Hey, hey I appreciate it. You have it. to set your cameras up and everything. Like, I how much time do they need? I appreciate it, Shit, dog. it's the end of the view, interview and they still need time. <laughs> like, come on. Talk I, about the shit. I, I fuck with it. I thank <laughs> you for it. I just, I'm being empathetic. I feel like, you know, like the interview I did the other day, like, she, the person probably ain't feel comfortable to talk about what they've been through because they know that people can use it against them. And that's fair. That's fair. Come on. Like, that's fair. Uh, we got to give them some type of lead. Some, maybe some I need of... to start thinking like that. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. shit. Now, nah, these be the best interviews. Like, Bitch, it's just me. Like, ain't nah, shit a motherfucking use against me. Nah, I feel like, and that's how, like when I did the interview with Jess Hilarious, and it was like, those be the best interviews. When they like, can, did, don't give a fuck, people want to say what they want to say regardless. Bitch, what the fuck you going to use against me that I told you? Nah, fuck. Like, nah. what is you going to, like, what is you going to, brother? That ain't my style anyway. But I'm just saying, if I said this, you know what the shade is the room dumbass go, shade room go crazy and the comments get to the niggas. They stupid. Bitch, how you gonna get mad that somebody you said this in the interview and it's recorded and you I don't give a damn what I said, like you can use me saying fuck you. Why is you mad that they painted a picture? That's what I'm saying. You gotta be who you are. No, Stop letting people the world create a picture. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, I, I did have a question. I'm curious. Yo, so you Charge celebrities twenty thousand dollars. You get paid twenty thousand dollars to do no, celebrity. I charge two thousand with the wig provided each person. But if regardless I'm doing if it's celebrity, if I'm doing video shoots and on set or something, it, the price goes up. Yeah. So you charge two thousand dollars with the wig. With that's the just hair? regular. That's just like not regular people. My everyday clients, right. and like you know what I'm saying. But with the celebrity clients, I charge like ten thousand. Right. Yeah. How like. How does that work? Like, why are you charging ten for celebrity and two for? Because the thing is, celebrities they're like, first you gotta book me out, you gotta fly me out. Okay, okay. Um, they like to do like two to three hairstyles. I'm providing oh, okay. quality wigs each wig. You know what I'm saying? If we're, if I'm on set, my my price my time costs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to get over on people or nothing, but. No, it makes sense. It's work now. I had to go there because I got a girl and I paid for a couple hairstyles. You telling me Jonathan Wright charged two thousand dollars? Yeah. And you hoes is charging fifteen hundred. Something gotta give. Yeah, drop that deposit right now. You gotta stop. You gotta drop that deposit for the <laughs> you next gotta year stop. for your girl, bro. What? Wait, 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 wait. It's no, when you said two bands, I'm like, okay, that's not bad, bro. It really costs like easy, bro. Easy, at least minimum a thousand dollars to get my girl head done. See, and that's the thing about me. Like, I know I done made it up to this level. So it's like, why I'm, I'm, you think I'm about to text all these people? I'm still trying to run my bag up. Thanks. So if I can, I put a wig on in an hour. Mm. If I can do 10 wigs, 10 to 15 wigs, you know what I'm saying? It's like 20 right there. Right there. So why try to text a person when you can do so many at a small time instead of trying to take your time doing four hours on one wig and charging a person this much? Because you're trying to sell the time you trying to show them too much like bitch my wigs come ready i'm already ready to wrap your shit up do you a buy how do you feel about the uh, people that's like getting out of it and like doing other things like for example i talked to cliff he trying to get into music and shit like that but yeah. like just even when i was doing my re research on yo yo really was like that coming up like Who? on the hair shit Who? cliff cliff yeah. Ramirez. like how a you lot feel of people about i feel like a lot of people just get like it, it kind of they feel out like they want to do something else that it outgrow them. Okay, but sometimes they know how good the money is, and they, it all they always come back. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So like he stepped in. You know what I'm saying? He felt like he was probably created this, and then when you create an image so long of you, you, you get tired it. of you know what I'm saying okay. of being that person. Right. So he he wanted to create a new image of being a rapper. So he stepped into the you know what I'm saying. Then you try the music thing. Yeah, I I'm I would I'm an artist. Like I do everything. <laughs> I ain't tried. I'm going quite good with it. Why do y'all do that? Like, why not? It ain't just... no do what? 
Like I'm an artist. I do everything. Nigga, you an artist with the hair. Everything. I'm not no. You can't just put me in one field. Like I have different. You can't you box di- me in. Look, I have you. This me. I have this. I do music. Her do this. This. Her Is the music these. for real? What? Is the music real? Duh. You heard me on it, right? It ain't nobody else's voice. I mean, people just do shit because it's just it. me. So I mean, that's part of who I am. They want to do it. That's why the rappers do it right, and it's, that's why they do it. But they they put time, energy. I put in. my time and motherfucking energy when I'm in that studio, steady having to redo some motherfucking lines that I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> like, what? The, that's a lot of time and motherfucking effort. So it's as real as they really. You full of shit because you tried the podcast a year ago. You only did two fucking interviews, and I didn't try the music, and I only did two songs. How long ago you tried the music? A year ago, bro. You wasting your fucking time. I ain't wasting nothing because I'm steady leveling up. That's why I'm here. I'm on your podcast. Facts. So, you on my podcast because of the hair. Okay. And, and you lit like that. You, and you guess that what? Guy. You just said something about my music. So go listen to my <laughs> song. <laughs> yeah. What song is it? I got two songs. You don't even know the fucking name. It's called Nigga Don't this Try Me. Don't even... It's called Nigga Don't Try Me and Throw That Ass Free. Yeah. I'm tired of this nigga. You full of yeah. shit, bro. This shit. This nigga is full of shit. Nah, bro. I, I definitely appreciate you pulling up, even though. What are you going to talk about yesterday? But I didn't have no haircut. And you better be glad I came today because I threw this shit on myself. Oh, my shit look crooked somewhere. You I cut know your hair yourself? I did. Or it's a wig? Nigga, this ain't no motherfucking wig. My shit, nigga. You know the niggas got this shit too. Not me. You see uh, uh, Big Sexy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. I ain't about to even go into that with you. Day is crazy. Yo. Oh, you never know. It might be like some like. me. I'm you sure so you, blessed. Me, I'm thankful. The only thing you just can't go <laughs> close to the edge up, bitch. I might wipe the edge up off. I spray that off. No, nah, for real. I definitely appreciate. Like, like I said, opening the interview, man. Like from the jump, bro, you was, you was like super open. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like you was definitely done and do the interview. I definitely appreciate it, bro. You could have uh, fuck with anybody else. You came to fuck with me. Period. Um, what yeah, else you got going? on? I know you got the tour coming up. So, um. I'm actually about to open up another location, actually in Atlanta. So um, that's another reason why I'm out here. I'm looking for okay. a salon and like um, media space. I want to open up one out here, in LA and New York. After my tour, that's my next thing. So, you like it in LA? LA? Yeah. The money good. I just have a big like, you know, a lot of my celebrity clientele is okay, there. You know what okay. I'm saying? So I want to give me. I just want to give. And even I have a lot of fan base there. So I want to give opportunities for people to work there, come get their hair done. All type of stuff Wait, there. before we get out of here, I, I always wanted to do this, and I feel like you as the person I could try this on. What? I ain't the person to try new things. Who, 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 who the who the biggest celebrity on your phone right now? Um, that will answer if you call her. My mama. Period. Get this nigga the fuck hey! out of here, bro. You hey! <laughs> Let me see. Shit, Erica Badu. Fuck no. Call her right now. She probably ain't gonna answer, bitch. You better FaceTime her right Everybody now. Do, you better answer. FaceTime her. You better embarrass me. Everybody do, if you embarrass me. This is crazy. I ain't gonna say nothing, though. Erica Badu is crazy. I'm sweating. That's crazy. You did. You do Erica Badu yet? Boy, that's my, that's the queen now. Fuck everybody else. Beyonce and Erica Badu nah, is the queen. Call her right now. Call her. Yeah. Put on speaker. Put it. Show us on the, show, show the camera. Nah, because you're going to see her number. I'm about to, nah, one of her numbers, her name should be on there. <laughs> I'm sure her number ain't on there. <laughs> hold up, hold up. You know she was at the Met Gala yesterday. Friend! What you at? I'm doing a little podcast, and I just, I said, look, I love you, friend. Where you at? <laughs> you all right? What you doing? New York. New York. I miss you. I, uh, baby, I seen y'all at the um carpet. You saw us. Oh, y'all was showing out. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say I love you, friend. I love you too. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. When you come back to Dallas? I'm coming back next week. I'm about to be there waiting on you. Okay. All right. Am I on the podcast? Yes. Is my face on it? No. You know your face ain't on there. Okay, because you know you got to pay for that. That, yeah, that's why I said, because was, he was like, so he, what he said was, he said, who is the biggest person that you got in your phone? I said, the only motherfucking queen in my motherfucking phone, Erica Badu. I said, I, he said, if you call her right now and she answer, you that person. I said, 
Oh, let me call. I said she better answer. And then you answer, friend. That way you know I'm gonna answer. I know. I love you. I love you too. Good okay. on everything. Congratulations on your podcast. All right, friend. Answer. You know the rights. Yeah. All right, I love you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, dog. <laughs> Look, that's crazy. So yeah. Sheesh. So this, you know. I ain't gonna lie, you probably, you probably top five, bro. Top one. No, you got it. No, I ain't not. not. Top you, one. That topped all of them. They, they, yeah. You back, Spanx. Hey, I, and hey. I'm from the hood that did it. Yeah. Uh, Erica Badu? Nick, you ain't never had Erica Badu on your podcast? Never. Stop playing, you had it today. Dallas Legends. Hey, sheesh, that's crazy. Hey. I fuck with it. If I can help in any way, bro, hit me, bro, for real. It's real love. It ain't yeah. just um bullshit. For real. for real. I mean that, bro. I um I appreciate you for pulling up. This shit was crazy. <laughs> this nigga pulled up on one. He was like, nah. I fuck with it, bro. See, look at him. Nah, I, I fuck appreciate with it, bro. it. Nah, for real. Tell the people how to follow you if they don't know. I'm pretty Follow me on Instagram. I am underscore Jonathan. My name's Jonathan Wright. The right Find way. me if you can't find me. One the day right you'll way. find me. Yeah, the right way. J Hill, J Hill podcast is a wrap. We out, man. That shit was crazy.